I'm Ed Kaminsky, and I'm never satisfied. I wake up every day thinking about how can I do everything better. It's pretty clear for those around me that I'm passionate about reaching my true potential. The house is ready for you. I'm always trying to find the way to do better, to serve my clients better. It is contemporary on the inside, but it's got a lot of that old school Spanish Santa Barbara look on the outside. I can't help but think about what did I promise I would do for them and how am I gonna get it to them? Move them inside? Sure, let's go. I don't know if it comes through practice or through natural abilities, but I have great skill in allowing people to express what they want and I'm able to guide them into the direction that I think that they're asking to go. He's also amazingly able to tell you something you might not want to hear, to tell you something the way it is really. He has this magical way of talking to people in a way that's the truth and it doesn't hurt. He knows the pulse of the market and he knows how to handle expectations and handle situations that came up. They always do when you're selling a home. When you hire Ed, you get a team. You don't just get Ed. And you get a team of friendly, very experienced, very capable people. I think being a great leader is being able to bring a team together and to work hard together and to really deliver the passion and the skills for our client base. My biggest word of advice, take responsibility for anything going on in your life, your situation, but don't allow it to make you feel bad. Allow it to make you feel good. If you can figure out how to do that every day, that's where your power is going to come from. I hear stories that people see a vision of Ed, of, of this highly successful person sitting up on some pedestal, but when people meet me really and get to work with me, they quickly understand I'm pretty calm. I am a fire inside in what I'm doing for them, but I am a quiet, calm, collected person who listens. I would say if I could improve anything, I would be able to be truly satisfied by meeting all my clients' goals and my personal business goals and truly satisfied with the amount of time I spend with myself or my family or my children or my grandchildren. I'm married to my wife, Cindy, 25 years this year. And I have two children, Tina and Candace. They're both in their 30s and work for me. Hello, beautiful. And Tina has two children. And these two precious gems are the love of my life. But I get down and get dirty with them and play with them. I would say my family strengthens me because of their need for me to be strong for them. Life's tough out there, so they know I am the rock of the family and that they can count on me to be their support system and help them through their own personal challenges. I used to kind of follow what my dad would do. When I graduated high school, he happened to be in so-called jewelry business. And so I came out to Southern California, Santa Monica, to attend the Gemological Institute of America. Seven years into the jewelry business, I wanted something more. And I just felt there was more within me, there was more that I could do. And I discovered real estate, took my real estate exam. I, I put my toe in the water. And after selling my first home, I said, I can do this. And I quit my job. I had two kids at the time. So a very risky uh, decision and I sold 17 houses my first year in the business. I knew I made the right decision, and I've never looked back. There's no question that I love helping clients with luxury homes and high-valued assets, but when it comes down to it, whether a client is buying a $200,000 condo or selling a $20 million beachfront home, I don't change my energy, effort, passion, and commitment to my clients when I owe it. 
I don't focus a lot on the success of the day. I just continually look at how many more clients could I serve? What is next? What is possible? I look to tomorrow.